How do you expand the pentatonic scale? I'm going to give you three ways in which you can do it. The two first ways are really for the rock uh, uh, environment. There are basically two kinds of, uh, of settings uh, when it comes to, to melodic rock or blues, whatever. Um, and that is that you use the pentatonic. You can use the pentatonic scale over anything, right, in, in any style of music. But when you're playing over something that is based on blues, like the smoke on the water is not a blues number, right? Right? And most of ACDC songs are not blues songs, but they're based on the blues scale, which is basically you take the blues scale and then you put a power chord on, on top of each step of the blues scale. So if you have the E blues scale, right? You just put a power chord and then you can. And then suddenly you're using the same uh, f basis as the blues. And that's why you can use the blues scale, of course, to improvise over that, right? But you can also use, this is the magic of it, you can also expand that blues scale uh, by using uh, the Dorian mode, uh, which is, if you're not familiar with it, sounds a little bit, you know, complex, but it really isn't. You basically take the key of the song, let's say you're playing an E, right? That's a good, right? Right? And then you can, of course, use the E blue scale, right? But you can also go down one step, like two frets, um, down to the D, and then play a major scale right there. But you put that on top of your blue scale, your E blues, and that creates the Dorian mode. Right? So, so, what happens is you get some extra notes, you get two extra notes, you get, right? So if you, right now, <laughs> sorry, if you take a piece of paper or just, you know, on your computer, you take the E blue scale, write it out first position, and then on top of that, you place the second cage shape of the D major scale on top of it. Then you'll see that it fits right in there. The blue scale or the pe minor pentatonic anyway, fits right into that scale, but it gives you two, two extra notes. And if you do that, you suddenly have three note per string shapes. But you can use the blue scale, then move into, you know, use these two notes. So you can use all your blue slicks, all your blue stuff, and then you can add those notes to the mix, which makes it easier sometimes to play something like... Right? Because I have an extra note suddenly, I don't have... Right? So let's just do that. Um, right? That's clean blue scale. Suddenly have three notes down here. So that's the first combination. The second one is really much easier to handle because let's say you're playing an E blues. You can add, with no uh, further ado, you can say every time I have a minor third, which is like, you know, from the 12th to the 15th fret up here, you can add a note just before the pinky. So you add one right, right there. You can just add that. The same as the Dorian mode, right? But here you're doing it not on the basis of a scale, of adding another scale, you're doing it on the basis of the shape, which makes it really easy to implement because you have a minor third. Every time you, you play a minor third, you know there's an extra note right there, right? But you also know that the two, the two old notes from the pentatonic scale are the one that, uh, ones that really work, right? Um, and you can use the other as passing note. Right? And the same thing goes for the next shape here. We're in the first position, E blue scale. Um, shape, um, uh, 12th fret and 15th fret on the B string, and you put in an extra note, right? 
And the next string really has, has three notes already, so you don't have to do anything about it. But <clears throat> even though you have the blue note right there, you have the 12th, the 14th, and the 15th fret, and the 15th fret is the, is the added blue note, then you can add the note in between in the 13th fret, so you get total chromatic. <laughs> Right, so you can go. You can play around with that. <clears throat> because every time you have a whole. <clears throat> got a toad in my throat there. Every time you have a whole step, like 12 to 14, um, a whole tone, you can put in a note in between. Just like you do down here on the A string, from the 12th to the 13th to the 14th, you usually have that blue note there. You can do that. Every time you have that whole tone step, right? And if you do that from the bottom string here, from the 12th to the 15th, I put in an extra note and then, right? Suddenly you have three note per string. You can play three note per string shapes or sequences. Right? Right, and you can sometimes play two notes per string, sometimes three notes per string like that. You can take any shape like that. Right? So whenever, ever, in any shape, K shape, you can do this. When you have a minor third, you just add a note just before the pinky. When you have a whole tone interval, you can just add a note in between. Those tricks or those two combinations work over the, the, the rock, the blues-based rock style. Uh, in blues, of course. And if you're playing like ACDC kinds of rock, if you're playing melodic rock, that melodic rock uh, concept is all about playing the diatonic scale, which is just another fancy word for the major scale. <laughs> which is also a, a, a minor scale if you play it from the sixth step and up. But to have a common word for that scale, we call it the diatonic scale. When you're playing in that realm, you're no longer playing power chords. Based on the blue scale, you're playing, you know, chords that, that are derived from the diatonic scale, like, you know, triads, and it's a totally different thing, right? It's also what we use for pop, and you add an extra note to each chord and you use them, right? You use them for jazz, suddenly, right? Um, so that's the melodic rock realm. And if you're using, let's say you're playing an A minor. Now we're not, we're not in the blues-based realm. We're playing an A, a minor. A natural minor, and you have a chord progression like. That's the chord progression. Then you can, of course, use the A blue scale. Right? But you can also add the A natural minor scale. So what is that? Before we also added the, 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 the major scale, but that was one step below Right? If you, we were to play a song in A, then that we would go down to G and play the G major scale along with your A blue scale. But in this case, when it's melodic rock, we suddenly add the A natural minor scale, which is the same as the C major scale. I hope you, you know, you had that much theoretical knowledge. So if you're playing in A natural minor, uh, then you simply add the C major scale to your A uh, minor pentatonic, or what we could call the A Natural minor scale. I hope that makes sense. Uh, so C major and A minor is the same scale. And if you're playing in A natural minor, as we just did with real chords, not power chords, real chords, then you would combine the A minor pentatonic with the A natural minor scale. And let's just do that again. And those are the three combinations. And if you have these scale combinations under your hood, you can do them. 
uh, and you can combine the pentatonic with the Dorian minor and the pentatonic with the natural minor, which is what we just did. And look into it again, you know, look it up on the internet, but because that's all you need, basically, when you play rock and pop, is if you can do that combination, you really have some freedom because you have the most amount of notes to play with. Um, and some songs go from, from blues rock, right? And then suddenly it goes to melodic rock. Right? You know, White Snake is a good example um, of songs that constantly go back and forth. And ACDC have written some songs that go back and forth between blues-based and, and diatonic-based rock. And if you master the, the same pentatonic scale in combination with the Dorian and the natural minor, you have it, right? You can really, uh, you can really own these, uh, these chord progressions uh, and feel safe and secure when you, when you uh, practice and, and play. Um, so let's just do another little... scale. And now I'll use the blues scale in conjunction with the A natural minor scale. But I focus on the notes of the A minor pentatonic. Have fun with it and use the, the, the pentatonic scale as your safe notes and then move back and forth out into the other notes. There are only two notes in every, uh, in every case that you need or can use as extra notes, but they make a huge difference in your playing. So have fun with it.